COVID hospitalizations nationwide are at the highest level since last February. Nationwide emergency room visits and deaths also on the rise from last week alone, and it's not just COVID. Doctors are also seeing more cases of the flu and RSV. To discuss how to protect yourself and those around you, we are joined by Shelby County Health Director Dr. Michelle Taylor this morning. I am so glad to be with you this morning I'm on the red glad couch. Glad to be here. Yes. Good to see you. Good to see you. So um, very important. Uh, we're seeing so many people getting sick right now. Just what are your thoughts? Well. What we know is that right now we are seeing uh, a huge increase in what we call influenza-like illnesses or flu-like illnesses and people going to the emergency room for those illnesses. So of all the people who are going to the emergency room right now, 20% have flu-like illnesses. And so we know that we're seeing a spike not only in flu, but also in COVID, RSV, and basically the common cold. So you, if you know you have a fever, cough, cold, congestion, um, you need to take some precautions and decide that you're going to stay home and then go see your provider and get tested to make sure that you're not spreading illnesses to other people. Yeah, you know, I definitely, when I hear that noise, when someone sounds like they need to be home, I'm like, that's right, what are you that's doing? right. What are you doing here? Okay, talk to me about um, just, just getting the flu shot. And mm -hmm. we always hear about how the shot is from maybe the last flu virus. So can you just explain what it means to get the shot? And is it, are they all caught up? So for the flu shot, you know that that's based on what happened in the season last year and scientists predictions about what flu variants are going to be predominant this year. So usually with the flu shot, it's going to protect you for whatever is going on in the community for that year. I know a lot of people complain <laughs> about getting the flu shot and then getting sick. And what I normally do is explain to them that either you were already exposed to the flu when you went to get that shot, or it's just your body's way of saying, hey, I am able to fight off the flu if you get exposed again. And the main thing to remember, and this is with the flu shot and the COVID shot, is that if you go on and get the shot, if you do get exposed, if you even get flu or COVID, it's going to be less likely that you will be hospitalized for those things because your symptoms are gonna be milder because your body has something to help you fight off that infection. Why does this make so much sense right now as you speak? You know, so, you, sometimes you get caught in the interwebs, right. the internet, right. and, and you know, you just see all these different things. Thank you for just laying it down straight for us. Okay, right. now uh, switching gears a little bit, sure. Cervical Cancer Awareness Month, um, January, right? Why, why is this something that's on your radar? Well, it's very important, especially coming out of the COVID period. A lot of people were not getting their routine screenings. And we know in our community, we have a lot of under-resourced families that weren't getting routine screenings anyway. But we also know that early detection saves lives. So at the Shelby County Health Department, we have a Tennessee Breast and Cervical Cancer Screening Program that is super important, especially for our under-resourced families that may not have insurance or may be underinsured and need those screening programs. We know that about 14,000 women a year um, are screened and are positive for cervical cancer. That's just here or? Yeah, no, okay, national, I'm like, yeah, national. Duh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then we also know that we lose a good number of women to invasive cervical cancer every year, but that number is a lot less because we have screening tests like the pap test now. And so for women uh, who know they're sitting at home, no, they haven't seen That's their provider. You. That is you. <laughs> they have not seen their provider in the last year uh, or in the last two or three or four or five years. Now is the time to go on and call, make that appointment. I have women tell me all the time, well, I'm afraid of what they're gonna tell me. You'll be more afraid if you wait and they tell you that they could have caught this earlier. So go on, make that call, make the appointment, get screened, know what your status is, and know that there are things that can be done for treatment if 
you come back with a positive screening. Dr. Michelle Taylor, can you just come back like every day so that we I can help you? I would love it. I would love it. I can come. I, really I can help with the news. Okay. Yes. Uh, oh, you guys heard it. You just heard that. Okay. You're going to help with the news. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. Dr. Michelle Teller and Howard grad, right? That's right. Yes, H -U. we both went to Howard. So yes. Anyway. All right. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Great information.